Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new here, today's video is gonna be a cleaning video, but not like a clean, I mean, I guess you could clean with me. Not like a everyday clean. This is like things that I have never cleaned, ever. And I recently just found out that you probably should be cleaning them and cleaning them regularly. So don't judge me for how disgusting this is going to be. Um, but we're gonna get into it. So we're gonna do my dishwasher, my washing machine, and potentially my stove. I've been following this Instagram um, cleaning, it's Go Clean Co, I believe, um, on Instagram, and I'll link them down below. But I've been following her, and she's been giving tons and tons of tips of how to clean things. She uses bleach, vinegar, and Tide, like the powder Tide, and that's pretty much it. And then a lot of elbow grease. So we're gonna get into it today. We're gonna use some bleach because I found some at our stores. I found some Tide. Um, she does use oven cleaner for like her oven, but for some reason Walmart and HEB were sold out of oven cleaner. Don't know why and bleach is there, but we can't find oven cleaner. So we may or may not be doing the oven today depending on if I can find any cleaner, but we are for sure doing the dishwasher and the washing machine. So I'm gonna start right now with the grossness. If you don't like things like this, I'm telling you it's gonna be gross because I've never cleaned them. Ever. and we lived in this house for three years so let's start with the dishwasher because I do have a ton of dishes that need to be done but I want to wash this before I put those in so let's get going okay this is later on the day but a little disclaimer before you do any of this open some windows turn on vents turn on fans because it's going to smell very chemically and awful um, just do that see if your kids can go play outside instead of keeping them inside with you. Also, go follow Go Clean Co and get all of the like little um, tips and tricks and things. I'm not going to do it exactly how she's doing it because I've just watched some clips, like that's all. Um, I do know that she says not to mix anything with your Tide and bleach because it can cause a chemical reaction. So whatever she says to use, use it that way and don't mix things together. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna start with the dishwasher so let's open it up should be empty hold on baby let me pull this out okay so we've got like nastiness down there I told y'all please don't judge me um, I think there's a filter or something I don't know mine doesn't look like hers so we're gonna mess with that and then we just got like hard water stains and stuff oh there's a straw let's put that in there so we're gonna get to this there's a couple stains here I think bleach will help with that but I'm really focusing on like right in here. Look how disgusting that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna get that really good and clean all around the cabinets and then we're gonna find the filter and we're gonna clean that out too. Okay, so I took this out and then like this is my filter. So there's some good stuff. I've gotta somehow <laughs> clean that out and in there. So in my washing or dishwasher, that's what I had to do. So I took out like that circle thing and then this, whatever this is, this is bleach and hot water. And then I took this out and that's how disgusting that is. Hold on baby. And so then I'm gonna scrub it with this now. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. I don't wanna be so emotional 
Just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you No prize Oh no No prize Oh no No need Oh no So free I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel As long as you can show me a good time So what I found is that this piece right here does not come out. So I'm just basically scrubbing to get like all the excess out. And then I'm going to run the dishwasher and see what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so this is just bleach and hot water, and so I'm gonna get this area here. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I have scrubbed everything down, and now I've got a bunch of like water and bleach in here because I guess it doesn't drain unless it's on. So I'm going to, and this is what she did, she poured a cup of bleach, so I'm gonna add some more bleach to this, into this area, put everything back in, and then run it on the longest, hottest possible cycle there is, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so while the washing, dishwasher, while the dishwasher is going, I'm gonna tackle the washing machine. So I basically just have a bucket right here, and it has, Let's make you not so bright. Okay, it has Tide laundry detergent and um, bleach and hot water, and that is it. So I have mixed that up in this little tub with my scrubber. Oh, baby, this is bleach, so you, you can't use it right now. Um, I'll show you the before of the washing machine. What did I say? Absolutely not. Get down, please. This is yucky like poison. Okay, so we just got like, I mean, the normal gunk and grime, maybe for some people, I don't know. Gunk and grime there. Really, the inside of my washer, washer is not that bad, so I'm going to put a, like a, a dishwashing tub thing, tab, whatever. Um, but I'm going to scrub this out. She said you can take this thing out and you can get it inside there, so we're going to do that. Yeah, we're just going to get this all nice and clean and scrubbing it. Okay, so in her dishwasher, or her washing machine, she took this out. I can't figure out how to get it out because in here, there's no like, Graylin K. Pick it all up. Go throw it in the trash. There's no, I mean, maybe this. Oh, look, I think I found it. Okay, let me see a chance. I don't wanna break it <laughs> if I'm not supposed to get it out. Okay, so maybe I'm just going to wipe it out really good because I don't want to break it. Okay, I ended up just um, pouring some in there and then wiping it out nice and clean. Ooh, yeah. All right, I dumped the rest of it in here and then I'm going to run a load with the cleaner, but 
tied bleach. I'm sorry, tied and bleach, and that is it. And it like wiped off so quick. I'm sure I could have done that with anything, but I like this mixture. Nice and bright and white. Let's run the dishwasher. Thank you for cleaning it up. Okay, so you know whenever you start cleaning and then you get like carried away and you just want to clean more? Well, I was watching Go Clean Co's Instagram again and uh, she was doing their shower heads and my shower heads are disgusting. Our water in our town is awful and it leaves such bad hard water stains on the shower heads. So I'm gonna see if I can get them off. Um, we're gonna see because mine are way worse than hers were and she said all you need is vinegar in a plastic bag and then you put it on the shower head. So I'm gonna show you our shower heads. Again, don't judge me. There they are. They're disgusting, like, cow. And I soaked these, or cleaned these, like, at least once a week whenever I normally clean. And then we have this. And that's gross, too. So we're going to soak them in, I guess, vinegar. So I put vinegar in these bags, and we're gonna use these rubber bands and put them over. Okay, so I have covered them and put rubber bands to make sure that everything is covered in vinegar. I'm cleaning in the bathtub, and then this one's on too. Now we're gonna tackle this gray. So I clean this. I'm telling you, once I'm a week. Okay, hold on. Once a week with a magic eraser and I have to scrub so hard. So she used Barkeeper's Friend on her bathtub, which I've never seen. So I'm about to go get some. We have the powdered version. I don't know how much we have left. I won't clean the potty right now, baby. I'm going to clean the bathtub. And we're going to see if we can get this first. Okay, so we've got Barkeeper's Friend and we're just going to... Put it all, hold on, let me do some and then you can do some, okay? All over the top. And then she just gets a damp cloth and she rubs it in, pretty much. Gotta put it in damp. Mm -hmm. Look at So I let the barkeepers sit for like 15 minutes and then I did use a scrubber brush on certain spots, but I wish the lighting in our bathroom was a little better. And you could see, um, it's still a little bit discolored, but it's so much better than it was. And if I continue to use the barkeepers, it'll maintain it. I also put it on like my handles and stuff that were really bad with hard water and I've gotta work on that one a little bit more but it did pretty good. Now, I'm gonna try to tackle this soap scum. So basically, for the tile and stuff, she base, she just said to use Tide bleach and um, a scrubber and some elbow grease. So we're gonna tackle the soap scum now. So there's your before. Let's get to that.
And here's the after. That worked really well, so I think I'm gonna continue to do the bleach and tide on the tile oh, for I sure. Oh, I think a shower. Okay, I feel like I have been cleaning forever and I'm tired of the smell of bleach. So, we're going to see what these um, shower, whatever, let me see what the shower looks like. Okay, so it looked like they kind of did something. So we're gonna take these suckers off and see what kind of magic. Oh, this one doesn't look like it did a whole lot of magic. Hmm. Okay, I am um, extremely impressed. This one is pretty much clean all the way around, but this one still has a few spots down here, so maybe that's where the vinegar didn't get, so I'm gonna soak this one a little bit longer, but worked pretty good. And then my, my, my macaroni. Yep, you ready to look at the clean dishwasher? Do you think it's clean? Let's see what it did. Oh, okay, so we still have a stain here. I scrubbed that pretty good. All of this is a little bit better. Our lighting right now is not very good because a storm is coming in. I mean, it looks cleaner. I guess you would do this like every couple weeks or so. Okay. Was it a win, Gray? Yep. You did a good job? I will show you like here. That's so much cleaner than it was, if you remember. Right here is cleaner than it was, obviously. Pretty good. Okay, it's clearly later on in the day. I have gotten out of my bleach shirts. I am a hot mess because we were putting everything away um, in our outdoor area because we're supposed to have a big storm tonight and we just had a big storm with hail and everything. So we're trying not to have even more damage. So we just did all that. Anyway, that's besides the point. Everything cleaned amazingly. The bleach and tide I will be using, but not every time because my hands are super dry and my house smelled so chemically all day long, but it really did clean it. I mean like amazingly well. Um, the vinegar on the shower worked great too. Um, let's, I'm standing right here because I was gonna check on this smaller one. My husband just took a shower, so everything is wet. But the smaller one looks a little bit better. I'm gonna leave it soaking overnight. I'm gonna leave it soaking overnight because um, we don't have to use that one. We can use the bigger one for tonight. Let me fix this. Anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed this super deep clean vlog, whatever it was, with me. Go follow, go clean co. I'll leave it down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are, just the way you can. strong